guys, been super super busy today. Um, I'll jump straight in with Charlie's day and then I'll fill him with the rest of them. So I'll just grab his book and uh, tell you what he's been doing at school. <coughs> First of all he came home with lots of Christmas cards and also some um, a big massive pack of like uh, word cards, you know like flashcards. Um, of a lovely lady whose um, child goes to the same school as Charlie. Um, so thank you so much for them. You you know you know who you are. Uh, we really 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 appreciate that. Because uh, obviously we want to try and implement, <coughs> um, you know, cards and stuff more with Charlie at home. You know as well as at school, to try and reinforce that progress that's been made. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it is a difficult thing to get onto. It's quite a big step in terms of progression. But you know he's 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 doing so well. Um, you know, and it can't hurt to uh, to start him off just steady and slow on those cards. So we uh, we really really appreciate that. So you know who you are. Thank you so much. That's that's amazing. It says a good morning making Christmas crafts. Charlie is engaged in all messy activities. Lots of glitter. He's got himself all messy. That's the way it should be done. Shaving foam and corn flour, which is good because. Um, the kids had this um, like bath foam, what you can mould animals out of, it's similar to shaving foam, um, except it's got Peppa Pig stamped on the side, I think that's a real difference really. But you're supposed to be able to mould shapes out of it. Um, and last I remember, they haven't had it for a while, but I don't think Charlie liked the texture of it, so um, touching uh, shaving foam and stuff, that's a big step for Charlie, so really pleased with that. And then this afternoon, Charlie visited Erton Garden Centre to look at the decorations. So again, he's been out and about in the community and whatever else. So yeah, that's fab. Um, he got up this morning, he cleared two bowls of, uh, say two bowls, two portions rather of, of porridge, um, without any problems at all. Um, I was a bit nervous about this morning because they were actually up early enough that I managed to get him breakfast. Um, and bath and whatever else by seven o'clock. Um, yes, that sounds good and productive, um, but you know, bearing in mind Charlie's very time skilled in his head, as well as you know physically. Um, you know, he's got things down to a T how he likes them to operate in his head. So he's looking at you know getting out of the bath and you know ten minutes, fifteen minutes later, after he's dressed, you know his minibus comes. Um, there was obviously an hour or so to wait, and also you've then got that added danger of. Charlie chewing his clothes and not keeping his socks on or whatever, so it's pretty much, you know, ten past, you know, his bus comes around quarter past eight, it's ten past eight, that's when he whip his socks on his shoes um, to avoid any chewing, but even then you can't fully avoid it because he goes for the jumpers, he'll go for the sleeves, everything, but no, um, he did really, really well with that, I'm very proud of him, he just found, well, um, a sock off the radio, he took a sock off the radio and he chewed it, so me and Amy were like... Let's just leave him to that. If he's chewing the sock, um, don't particularly want him chewing clothes, but if he's going to chew something, he's on the this random sock. He's not touching his own socks, he's not touching his own clothes. Therefore, we don't have to change him. So, yeah, we left it at that. Um, again, managed to get the morning clips this morning. Um, I'm trying to use my phone when it's dark to get a bit of light so we can get some a bit more variation on the time scale of clips. But, you know, we've got the bath there, the, we're getting dry, um, preschool. Um, after school, dinner, the normal segments. Um, obviously, this morning they're not as well lit. Use my phone to do that. Um, and yeah, he's just coming, happy as anything. A little on the quiet side, but I think that's Monday morning. He's just getting back into the swing of things. And his dinner's just cooling, so it'll be to eat his dinner, um, and bath, and you know, a nice early early bed. Uh, since he was up very early this morning. So that's pretty much Charlie's day. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a good day for him really. But we've been busy with um, our petition, which I told you guys about yesterday. Um, and our inbox has gone mental with people who really want to help us. As well as our page likes keeps flying up. And our subscribers and our Twitter followers. Um, we're in another newspaper today, the Scarborough Town News, if anyone would like to check that out. Um, I haven't actually got the link to it yet um, for, for the website. Um, it's in the physical paper. 
today. Um, and it'll, I'll get the link also to the website shortly so you guys can check that out um, over on our page at Year in the Life of Autism. Um, also, um, yeah, this petition, it's gone really well. You know, we basically want to sit down with David Cameron and get some answers and grill him a bit. And the amount of people that's inboxed us and said, you know, they've been left behind as well and whatever else is unreal. So, yeah, more determined to ever to do that. I mean, we've got over 200 and odd signatures so far. We've, we've only been up, you know, not even a full day. So that's gone really, really well. Um, but I'll leave it there for, for today, guys. Um, obviously, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll leave you to watch through the clips and enjoy that. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing and sharing. You guys are all awesome. Let's sound words be heard. <laughs>